took the case of three countries whom we got wind of. They were each trying to establish a platform for electronic medical records. And they each had their own budgets to do it. In one country's case, they were budgeting to spend $1.2 million. In another country, they were budgeting to spend $1.5 million. And the third country was budgeting to spend $2 million. The Center for Collaborative Excellence, which is the CTU's, under the CTU's wing, we said, let's examine this project. Let's scope it out. And we discovered in that scoping out that if we work collaboratively, we can build a facility to meet the needs of all three countries at two million dollars. Then the difficulty is, how do we share those costs? And we use a very simple formula. <clears throat> we use a formula which says, the cost would be shared on the capacity you require to serve your needs. And it was one, one six, two, two six, and three six. We divided the costs. And then we saw where the cost for each country came down. None of the countries had to spend 1.2 or 1.5 or 2 million. That cost came down. There were savings incurred by each country because they were now paying less for the same, for functionally the same facility. And the savings, potential of those savings, can be diverted into other projects. So you, you, in, I was demonstrating that we remove the duplication of that, the duplication of costs. Because all those activities, there is a minimum investment, core investment that's what we made, which you can't get away from. So each country is going to repeat that core element of the investment, which we removed by consolidating the projects and say, okay, what, what is your capacity usage? What is the others? What is the others? And that way, I was driving home the point. There are benefits to be derived from this process. If they built the facility in their own country and they had a hurricane or not, storms, it would be the same issue. And therefore, when one is doing that, then one has to look at the most appropriate location with reduced risk. And it, it might not be in a physical building at all. It might not be a building with equipment in it at all. It might be, okay, we have bought, we paid for, capacity in a cloud. It's the same consideration. If you did it in one country and the country was hit, let's suppose Dominica was prosperous in our and built a facility in the country and they had a hurricane. It doesn't matter where it is, it will be destroyed. The likelihood of it being damaged is possible. How you how you bulletproof that? You can do it as much as you can. You can have building standards and you could put all the facilities on the ground or whatever, but it's cost. And therefore, if you do it collaboratively, you're in fact sharing that core cost among three different countries.